Are you ready to learn about TikTok marketing strategies, tips, and tricks? Well, my friend Kevin is going to blow your mind. He is going to tell you all about Okay, I'm going to turn it over to my friend Kevin so he can dig deeper into his TikTok strategies and show you what he's doing. Hey Shelly, thanks for having me on. I want to share with you guys some of my tips and strategies that I use to get some of my success on TikTok. Now, comparatively, my results are a little bit smaller than a lot of people, but right here you got 3,957 currently with 177,000 likes and collectively I've had well over a million views. So I want to share that with you and try to help you along your journey to generate leads and sales in your business using TikTok while it's still available. And I know that Trump has been going off that he may ban it. You might be watching this years down the road. Who knows when? Something that you need to know is this style of creating content has happened before and will continue to happen on other platforms, whether or not TikTok is here. You might have heard of something called Vine many, many years ago. It's now defunct. Many of the creators that started on that platform moved to other platforms like YouTube. Uh, not the best example, but like Jake and Logan Paul started on Vine. Just to give you an idea, you learn how to communicate in these short, small videos using text and words and grabbing people's attention. So you can actually translate this to other things like Instagram stories, Facebook stories, or short clips on those pieces of, of platforms and, or the next platform that comes along that has this style. So, so don't worry about that. So what you're going to learn in this video, uh, how to create these videos or what you should focus on is most beginners overthink things way overthink things. So you're going to go with results videos, modeling trends, uh, duets, how to's and video replies. And a results video is very simple. What I'll do is I'll share my screen, see if it pops up. So a results video is like this online sales where I'm just showing the sales that I've actually made and I'm giving a call to action to go to my website. That's it. And I didn't do anything fancy with this. All I did was literally just pull my phone out, record my screen, just like that. So simple. And it works. The next is modeling trends. Now to find trends, you're going to go down to the discover button and you'll see all the trends that are happening. Now, a lot of it's dance and silly things, but you can actually search these. Let's say if I wanted to do affiliate marketing, I would just search say affiliate marketing. And it'll give me all the top users or the top trending ones, the top users, top videos, the top sounds I can use and the top hashtags. Great content. So what you would do here is essentially go to one of these videos and don't try to reinvent the wheel. Watch the video. You're getting a free shout out and make your own version of this video. Don't, blatantly steal it, but model it. Maybe there's a different t-shirt app or something along those lines that you can use, or you can change it out to a different company or product, not t-shirts, but use the style, the speed, the fonts. A duet, a duet, some of my most successful videos have been duets, and I'll show you why these are powerful. So this is a duet I did with a Gary Vee video. They just allow you to do that. And all I'm doing is just adding my own take with overlays on this video, just adding my own two cents and then sharing it with the same or similar hashtags that he used. And if you want to do this with a duet, you click these three dots in the bottom, go to duet and it'll automatically pop up and you can watch the video and record yourself. Sometimes you can really hit it out of the park with these. One of my best performing ones, this has generated me a couple thousand followers and over 800,000 views on this duet. So they're super powerful, so don't neglect them. A how-to is literally just a how-to. What you do on YouTube, how to, what I'm doing right now, just condense it. How to make a results video. Just break it down into 15, one minute to 15 seconds. Super simple, super, don't overthink it. And you can just record your screen. Don't worry about getting all fancy and stuff. Just record your screen. A lot of people are doing great with just recording their screens. And then the video reply. Luckily, I have a comment right here. So you'd click inbox. Find a video, uh, find someone's comment, click on it. It'll open up that TikTok, and you want to click on it again. And this little camera pops up. We'll, we'll record this right now. 
Copywriting is a high income skill that can be used in every single industry there is. Someone needs to write sales messaging for you and people pay big bucks. So it's a great investment of your time. You can actually save this. And what you do with the save video is you can shave, save it on your Facebook, your Twitter, all your other things there. So that's it. That's all. That's a video reply and they're very powerful. I've gotten videos with up to 9,000 views on just replying to someone. And you just saw me do it. It's, it's very easy. So how to keep them watching. So add text in your videos. Usually I'll wait a second, like the video will play and I'll wait like a half a second. So it kind of triggers them and interrupts their pattern a little bit rather than starting with it right on the tech, like right on the video. And then you can use trending effects and then copy through the whole video. Here's an example of a TikTok I just did. Just finished David Goggins book. Can't hurt me. It's awe inspiring. I just went for the longest one I ever went for. Haven't ran in years. This is that damn book. Go to my YouTube channel. I'm doing a review soon. Check it out. So those are little things there that can help you keep people engaged. So all I'm doing is adding text that complements what I'm saying or thinking. As in, you see how I mentioned I'm reading a book, an audio book. I used a face that was speaking with a book rather than typing that all out. I just add something that amplifies what my thoughts are. Trending effects. You can see that when you're creating a TikTok, click on that, grab this button, and these are the effects here. Find a trending one, create a video around it. This is important. Always add music. If you don't need music, what you can do is turn it down. So if I was creating a TikTok, filming my screen, click that button. I would go to the music here, select a song, click the volume, turn it all the way down. That way it's going to be populated with those trending videos to get more attention, but it won't be overlaying and overbearing your actual TikTok. So hashtags and keywords. Now these are all searchable. If you go to, let's delete this. You go to discover again, you can search your hashtags. We'll go around affiliate market again. This is where you're going to find all of those hashtags that are related to what you're actually making copy about or making your videos about. So you could start somewhere in the thousands. I would go up to maybe 10 or 20 and up. Small ones aren't getting much attention. It's pretty much someone just tried it out and got a bunch of views and that's why it's been spread out so much. So you want stuff that's kind of trending and it's good to have a mix. Like if you're gonna do affiliate marketing, maybe throw one more in that's high ticket affiliate marketing that's half a million, that's like smaller and just do a mix. And it's important to note not to fill up your screen depending on what your video is. If you're putting text in your videos, sometimes, too many of these hashtags can actually overwrite stuff. So if I go to this one here, you can see how my text is above all my hashtags. If you put a lot in, see it overlaps there. So try to keep that in mind. People won't be able to read that. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it can affect just what you're doing. If you're making something that no one can read, then you're kind of wasting your time adding it to your video. Now you want to mix and match, like I said, mix and match. Um, and your actual text is searchable too. So think about what someone might be searching for when they're looking for something on TikTok. It may, it may not be a huge percentage of people going on there and treating it like a search engine, but most of these social apps are set up kind of like a search engine. So just keep that in mind as a little extra bonus there. Now your calls to action. These are the five things that you could focus on is always ask for one of these in your video. Try not to ask for 10,000 because a confused mind always says no, but ask for a like, and you can do something like this, point to this side of the screen where the like button is, or ask for a follow, or you can put the text on the screen, like and follow, and not actually say it. You can ask for a comment. Comments are great because they create those opportunities for reply videos, which are really great because people like that one-on-one -on -one connection. And then your offer, obviously, hey, check out my link in the bio. That's what we're all here for is to drive traffic to our offers. And then also a shout out, which is, hey, go check out this person's channel and you can 
in the description of your video, you can um, add their user's name, like at Shelly Hopkins one. Simple, simple strategy to get more attention and help kind of grow together and share content and kind of cross pollinate. Now, if you don't have a thousand followers, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you're probably not there yet. There's a couple things that you can actually do is obviously, if maybe not so obvious, just put the actual thing that you're trying to sell on the screen. Just add the text. Like if I want, if I didn't have a thousand followers and I say, hey, go to my website, I would put kevinjpino.com right on the screen as I'm saying, hey, go to my website. Very simple strategy. You can add it to the comments in your video. Say, hey, check out the comments. I'll leave a link down there. So when people watch it, if they go to the comments, they can scroll through and see it. Or you can actually answer your question with a comment. I've gotten five or six acorns referrals from some of my acorn videos just from doing that, making a video reply or sending my referral code into that comment as a reply. And you can also add it to your bio. If you're not exactly sure what I'm talking about in your bio, you get offered this little link here when you have a thousand. But if you don't, I would delete those other lines and just put your site there where they have to copy and paste it. It's something you can do just to get the ball rolling on this stuff. So I hope this is helpful. Let me kick it back over to Shelly. Thanks for having me on the channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you, Kevin, for that. Hopefully you learned some cool tips and tricks that has to do with TikTok. Also, I'm gonna have down below a cheat sheet that has to do with TikTok and some great insights. It's like for a dollar, so you're gonna love it. And thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? You wanna see more content like this? Ring that bell so you get all of the notifications. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a video right here, because if you like this video, you're gonna love that video. See you on the next one.